Hello there everyone and welcome back. Diplomacy is going along nicely there I like to think. Even though the Cylons I kind of decided to forsaken them a little bit because they're making it a little difficult for me to trade with them and I like to keep my skin intact there with the Burathi and the Clackons kind of at war with them. But nonetheless, the Darlock, my attempts to get on their bad side has worked out superbly because now they are really pissed. And I'm buff. And as a bonus rider, I've been tr doing effective trade with the Sarak to try and get them in a better position to fight the Darlock, seeing as they're on war. So things are looking good for me. And hell, if this keeps up, I'm really hoping. No, no, I'm in fact encouraging the Darlock to try and do something about it, because I'm here on the other side of the galaxy with my eyes on the wormhole that they could potentially stri uh, strike. Blah. Let me try it again. With the wormhole I could, they can potentially strike through, I have eyes on both ends, so if they decide to come after me, ooh, I'm going to have fun making their lives miserable. Because right now I am just doing what a good Samaritan would do. A good allied state is trying to uh, keep my friends close. Well, that was an awful analogy, I think. I'm trying to do two things at once. Can you blame me? I'm trying to colonize this planet here, which I don't even remember the name of, and I'm trying to uh, indulge my grand scheme. But yeah, in the end, Sarax are benefiting just by me doing what I do best. It's all friendly business as far as I'm concerned, right? So I shouldn't feel guilty about if the Darlocks are annoyed by that, right? Because in the end, everyone benefits besides the Darlock. And if they don't want to send spies or ships after me, then I'm just going to continue trading good relations with the Sarak. Because right now, I think they're one of the most dominant races on that, at least on that side of the galaxy, I think. At least they have what I assume is the most military might, according to this. And they're pretty up there for everything else. At least they're in the top five, so they're above average, needless to say. So they're uh, a worthwhile ally to try and keep good relations with. I did not check if the Barathi and Clackons were where they were, but I'm sure they're up there as well. Especially the Barathi with the number of colonies they have. Oh boy. So, expansion is going to continue on. I need to be incredibly careful of the fact that I'm about to run out of mi- What is it? I'm going to run out of credits quickly because the only thing sustaining me at the moment I think is the trade relations I have. and. The Sarak have been spending a lot of their credits, so once that ends, there is no guarantee I'm going to get that reestablished quickly. I think they may be broke and I won't be able to benefit. So that is a bit of a risk, so I need some banking stuff and I need to focus a lot on my economy. To try and make sure I don't go into red anytime soon. Because I like to try and rush a lot of this stuff there, especially for my new worlds. Get the biospheres and all that going so that way they can self sustain themselves nicely. Especially since it has the food to sustain itself. And this is a rich world, so why not try and get that production going? So, there's that. And also, I got civil transports underway to kind of like transport my civilians and populate these worlds a little more quickly. If only a little bit. Try and make sure none of my populations are capped out. Including Altair Prime, which still has population to, to grow. And also, if I remember correctly, something was capped out. I think it was Stelio, was it? Yeah, it's Stelio, so civil transports here would be kind of nice. Although, do I really want the Mershaw to mingle with my other cities? Could that backfire on me, considering I just uh, demolished them in a war? I would think the mechanics would let me get away with it, since they're not rebelling against me at the moment. They're completely assimilated, but you never know. Those Mershaw could have the last laugh, so I gotta be careful. Although it'll be fun, it'd be kind of fun to have the two races mingle a little bit later on down the road. And since this is capped anyway, why not try and get civil transports going? At least try to. Although I'd rather wait till that hollow sieve is done, hollow sim is done to kind of get the morale going for these two striking researchers. And then we'll be golden. And let's see, frigates are repaired, frigates are upgrade. This one's the M4. So now it's going to be the uh, pain in the ass process of trying to figure out where my fleets are all spread out on. 
we have four frigates here on C C Celia or C Celial. I hope I pronounced that right. In at least one of those two attempts. We have destroyers here, which oh, that's my eagle too. So, oh, that was the fleet I was leaving the repair. Okay, that explains it a little bit more. So, where the hell do I want you? I think I want you as close to the wormhole as possible because I'm feeling conflict coming pretty soon with the Darlock. Or if they don't, you'll be in a position where I can capitalize on their stubbornness or their laziness. Take your pick. And meanwhile, we'll continue to enhance these gas giants and asteroid belts to make use of them. Also, where's my destroyer? Because I kind of need that to help deal with these dang pirates. It'll still be a few turns, so before that's dealt with. And then maybe I get a free civilian from from it to Mere Prime. That would be a, the best case scenario as far as I'm concerned. Because I don't think I care about the income so much. I just gotta figure out where to put my fleets. Make sure that they are spread out evenly so there's no weak spot, but able to respond in a moment's notice. If the Darlocks try and do something sneaky. We will see. And I'll set you to guard, yeah, because that's only one way path there. I could put you to Nortez. Oh wait, I don't need you in Nortez. I got all these sensor relays. And unless I'm worried about them getting destroyed there before I can defend them, then we will... Ah, I lost my train of thought, damn it. Getting distracted because Skype notifications because I forgot to set myself to busy, damn it. Breaking the fourth wall yet again. Or maybe this is the first time this video, I'm not sure. Either way, let's see, ooh, everything's growing, pirate fleet, oh boy. I'm gonna have to deal with that, it's another Ravager, isn't it? Yes it is. Thankfully, I know I can take that out, so let's deal with it now before things get serious, cause I don't want to go after Mirror Prime if I'm not paying attention. So auto resolve that crap, kill it. Perfect, did I even? I don't even think I took any damage. I hope I didn't take any real hull damage. So let's see. That is done. Now, <laughs> once the destroyer is here, the pirate threat's going to be gone forever. And then another mole is going to pop up. One of the, what is it, whack a mole little machine there somewhere in this galaxy. And then I'll have to deal with them too. It'll never end, will it? Oh. Why didn't it prompt me to deploy you, stupid civil transport? Because that was the whole point I built you. And here I am seeing you at the system that I designed you to kind of help populate and you're just floating there idly. I don't take kindly to that. Not one bit. Let's see, how is population going? It's still growing, so it's good there. Got subterranean farms, that gives flat food. We'll have to focus on the cheap stuff for now. At least that way there's actual progress going on in the city. Especially support port facility and all that there before I reach the 4-5 uh, point where people start striking, I think. Oh, and part of that is apparently due to taxes there. I never had a look at what my tax settings were. So if I'm really worried about morale or abusing the morale a little bit more with the Hall Sims, then I can raise the taxes. Where the hell do I find the tax option, though? Just for later on. Okay, there is 3 billion credits per pop unit. Okay. That's good to know. I thought it was like a sliding bar at first there. That's what I figured it would have been. But I guess not. And I'm kind of tempted to get some like gas harvesters for more credits that way. But this will turn into a huge barren planet. That, or turns out either large or huge, so... It begs the question, am I ready to start turning everything into gas, into plants, habitable worlds? Because I still got plenty as is to kind of habitat, don't I? Like, I have a huge system here, barren, that could be terraformed, so... Maybe I can wait on that for a little bit and just profit off the 10 billion credits I'm going to get from these two gas giants. Let's not rush ourselves too much, but keep that in mind that I can alter them when I'm ready for it. Because I'm still building colony ships. I don't remember where I set you. Oh, I set you to the ocean down here, didn't I? Ultra poor, sadly, but still going to have some growth going on. 
I just don't recall if there was ever a mechanic that allows me to transfer food to other systems, because that used to be a nice mechanic you can have with all the other games, kind of like Space 4X games, or even just general 4X games in general. And I don't recall ever seeing a mechanic in this game that allows me to transfer food around to help barren worlds be able to be more self-sustain itself. So that would suck if that's not in, in effect here. And the spy, what the hell do I want to do with you? Because I'm sure going to the Darlock system is a bad idea because of how capable they are as spies. But I can't really think of anything useful as far as my production world and home world. I think I got them all covered. So I think I'm good there. And they don't need repairs, so just guard until the destroyers come by to ruin the barbarians. Barbarians, jeez, what is this, civilization? Well, Civ 6 is, has been released. Can you really blame me? It's, it's kind of all the hype around with everyone, I think, so maybe that's how it slipped out. Either way, destroyer is going to be here to take out the pirates. I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully gain a civilian. That would be really nice. And Sweet Frigate's here. They're in Milof. Do I want them to go somewhere else? I got Clackons. Well, there's only one way they can go from here, so why not guard that? That way, I could just conveniently Habitat Sung Prime at the same time. Since it is practically like within distance of my systems, I like it. We are populating nicely. Also, I should consider getting more trade going. What's going on here? Ooh, the Sarak are colonizing, so. They're getting pretty close to my worlds there, so hopefully that does not mean confrontation in the future. I like to think not, but I need to be prepared for that later on down the road too, don't I? And I also have a scout, so I already know they have it inhabited that system, so... Not much point to scout over there, going over there rather. But then again, what's the point to scout anyway at this point? Besides checking my blind spots, because I know there's space eel somewhere down here I have neglected to pay attention to. Eh, yeah, well. Oh, and uh, before I, I was going to continue on with more diplomacy with Asarak and really tick off the Darlock. If I have the possibility to do more trade, we'll see. To relax with me at least. They have a bunch of. Oh, yeah, those are racial traits. I don't care about that. Trade tree, yeah. And what's this? Oh, embassy. Let's see, can I trade them research or something Welcome, else? What have you to say? Okay, he's nicer to me. I'm starting to like this agreement. So, do I want to share charts? Is that even useful now at this point? I don't think it is. Non-aggression pack, I don't think I can get away with that just yet, so... Let me trade something. Oh, shield capacitors. That was something I was planning on giving him, wasn't it? Or at least to the Cylons to try and help with the defenses. We have no interest in this. Yeesh. They're being nice to me at least, but they're still picky as hell, so... Maybe I should check to see what research they have. Let's see, I can get personal shields, that sounds really promising. Colony center, hmm. I don't mind a little bit extra population growth. An uptrack computer, I think that's important for me, so... That's what I want, what do you... Oh. That, Holy crap! Needless to say, they're getting greedy. We'll work on that a little bit later, I think. But I see one thing you might be willing to cooperate on. I see you want shared charts, so let's try shared charts then. Oh, it won't let me, damn it. I'll just offer it, it's just in the... Just the interests of... Goodwill, I guess. A deal done. It's not really a deal, but... But considering you, uh, surprised me with your, uh... Really interesting, uh, stance on... I guess that's a really high research text, the only thing I could think of, because wow. They want a lot for that Positron computer, so I'm going to have to see if that was like some kind of high-tech research. And hopefully, that I wasn't being ripped off if I had agreed to that. Which I'm going to make the wild assumption I was probably going to get ripped off. The Sarak are play a hard bargain. Thankfully, they're, they're more than eager to do the trade, so at the very least I could keep doing that. It's like I said earlier, it's kind of unreliable if they don't have the credits for it. So, 
Pirates are gone. And damn it, I only got credits. That's annoying. I would have loved that one civilian. Ooh, and I can actually... Oh, I, st I already knew I had Vision to Guardian, so... I would love to conquer Orion. I'm just not going to get any time soon. Let's see. Yeah, 691 offense. 315 defense, so... I'm well underway on matching his defense. Just no chance in hell on beating on the offensive front, though, so... We still got a lot of work to do. Needless to say. Okay, more profits. I like it. Let's keep that going. And just remember, I do have that option to turn him into Baron Worlds. Which I would love to do at some point. Especially since I also have unlocked Terraforming, which I don't even think I'm utilizing yet. Oh, never mind. Elo's doing that. And it's going to be for the better for it. That's the hope. And his pollution is slowly going down. So that's still pretty good. We're making progress, folks. So let me say, speaking of which, let me just keep an eye. Is pollution issue in any other, of these other worlds? I want to check quickly. Just going to quickly, I'm looking strictly at the pollution. I'm quickly going through, see if anything stands out. No, just LO. Hope there was a 20% there. That's Milif. It's going down as well, though. So I think we're okay in theory, so long as the pollution is going down. That's all I really care about. It might be a slow process otherwise, but that's all I really care about. Now, otherwise I don't know what else to really do besides just uh, push my weight around a little bit by conquering all these plants. Get a, all these plants. Did I even say that right? I wasn't really listening to myself that much. If I colonize all these plants and continue trade with the Sarak. And maybe start, well, the Mechlar, I don't think are a war of anyone, so I can kind of get away with trade with them, can't I? I do have an embassy with them as well, so, yeah, why not try to get on their good side? They're already relaxed. Greetings. What is your query? Recording specifications. So, I'll propose it. Parameters accepted. Perfect. I cannot object to this. It's free relation buff and free money. And no one gets ticked off, so I benefit fully. It may be the Mechlars, so I should be careful too. Since they are one of the best scoring factions right now. That could benefit them more than me. Just a little bit. But to be fair, so are the Saraks to some extent, so... With me trained with both of them, then I should benefit ultimately more. I'm really hoping so. Unless they're trained with each other and I don't know about it. I wonder if at some point maybe I could consider trying to throw a spy in there to try and get a sense of the diplomacy, st diplomacy status or not. If it gives me that much information with how they are dealing with the other factions. Although that's a good way to get them to tick them off if I were to do that, I think. Nonetheless. I think I set the turn timer for like a thousand or something, and we are nearing turn 300. R rather quickly, I think. Oh, did they colonize? Yeah, they colonized in our system. So they are expanding quickly, wow. I gotta be ready for that. Keep those colony ships going, I think. Altair Prime. Oh, that's Altair 2. For some reason I thought this was Altair Prime and was scared half to death the game bugged out. Oh, and I'm all let me build more colony ships, that might be a good start. Building subterranean farms, which is also useful too for regrowing the population some. I wouldn't mind that either. Let's see, what's production here? This is soft too. I think I'm just focusing on getting infrastructure going. So, what do we want to build? Because I, I got plenty of credits coming in, so at the moment I should be able to build whatever the hell I want and not worry, in theory. About oh I I do need to build a star base at some point to help with my fleet strength. Oh, but I got like 66 already, so that's not a, that's not a huge priority. We're good. No baby pink, we're good. And we're just about completely simulate with uh soft. So does that mean uh, Ferris Prime is completely simulate? Uh, not quite. There's still three more that need to be assimilated. Then we're golden. Also, with that said, can I start taking people off food? If I can't really, uh, if I can't really trade the food to other uh, colonies, 
Let's see, and I also gotta keep in mind the pollution stuff. Let's see, every single clue. Oh, they're starving now, so maybe. Let's stop there. There you go, perfect. I think that's the best I'm gonna get for a time being. And let's see, what else needs ores? Oh, both these uh, gas harvesters are good. We're golden, we're making 10 billion credits just from that one system. Plus, whatever uh, Hyundai Hindi Prime is giving me. So, all is good in the world. I just am starting to run out of things I want to build. Mainly because I can't really build harvesters or anything in like these systems or that I'm not occupying right now. So, what options do I have? Oh. Well, thanks for showing me a nice varied list there. I just want to see what I could do. Ooh, is this gas giant? No. Ultra rich, though. I think I know what I'm colonizing next. Once I get this dang space factory moving, I think I accidentally unselect it. So what is it? Arid? It's large? Ooh, this is almost a perfect world. A big... yeah, with high gravity though, so... Once I get the gravity field going, that will bounce down. What does this flag mean? Do I flag it for colonization or something? I don't know. It doesn't seem like anything happened from what I'm looking. So I'm left wondering... And we got, ooh, a nice, huge, barren world. Also high gravity, though. Gotta be careful of that. And, ooh, there's two more gas giants down there. I just need to colonize that if I want to profit off it. And what about Mere Prime? Just swamp. So I'm starting to run out of things to do with these uh, space factories. Unless I want to make a bunch of outposts, which isn't really a bad idea now. Especially now that I have the fleet points for it, so that's a good idea. I just want to try and make sure to push that as far as possible, so in like the best positions, because I don't want to have to make like one in mill if just to end up having to make another one sung when I finally habitat that air system. I want to try and try and stretch it a little bit, but I guess then I'm being a little bit greedy, aren't I?